As of last year, in Limpopo, which has a recent election of regional people's regional command teams, these workshops must have happened, but they've happened as well with regards to WCTs that led to the branches that got launched. But you are the political education officers who must make sure, physically make sure, that every single what has a branch membership induction workshop and we go through the documents so you divide according to the number of available persons you put a program you have until the end of june to patiently go to every village every corner when June 30th arrives, there must not have been a place we did not arrive collectively where we did not go and baptize members of the EFF in the name of economic freedom in our lifetime. Here's what Allah fight us. Now, the exams purpose, and you must leave with the question paper. Use it as a memorandum. So we will share the memorandum with all of you. We will mark you. We will allocate you your mark. And then we will give you the answers. So that you don't think badly of us. Ta learning requires discipline. You can't learn if your cup is full. You can't learn if your cup is full. Learning requires discipline. A lot of people who did not go to school do not have discipline to learn. Because school's most important lesson is the ability to know that you don't know. Among the school, we are was with how underinformed you are. The best knowledge you can have is that ah, my daughter is saying the At the end of my humble doctoral studies, I realized I have no clue. I had spent ten full years, as ten years. At the end, I fell emptier. But what does it do that to you? It makes you flexible to consistently improving. You attain the necessary human fle cognitive flexibility to always develop. You don't arrive at, I know, I'm full now. Why? We know this thing. Uh -uh. After a beautiful lesson, the greatest thing is, yo, yeah, comrades, well, I'm, I'm very humble. I'm very humble. I, I still have a lot to learn. Okay? Now I'm saying to all of us, do not then say, no, it's only this document. So you must always have this document as a political education office. The branch induction manual, we're going to give you a, a, a more updated version, hopefully uh, with the help of the organization's SGO, will print for all our members. Our wish is that every member must have this document. If needs be, we'll shorten it. Printing is very expensive. If needs be, we'll do a much smaller version. But every branch member of the leadership, branch command team member, should at least have this document to say the branch manual, which is a shortened version 
of the constitutional documents, found in the Manifesto Constitution and the Code of Revolutionary Discipline. First time, Now, you must always have these documents, but do not limit yourself. You must always improve your knowledge. Don't be a, a Twitter scholar, a, a television scholar, where not all the time we are harassing commonsensical current affairs. You cannot conduct the struggle with common sense. You need science. So always improve your knowledge, fighters. We've got a group, all of us, we're going to limit the extent to which people can make inputs there. Uh, so that it is a disciplined, decent group. And constantly share literature, documentaries, things that will improve the work of doing political education in the EFF. Um, now, let me emphasize again this date, end of June. We'll, we'll ask again the SGO to help us re-communicate these decisions to everybody. If you underperform in the exam, it is going to be the responsibility of the province to make you rewrite uh, until you pass, before you go on the ground. You will start speaking in tongues there. Uh, with our people. So what is the proletariat? Hey! But let me tell you, the best way to learn something is to teach it. By your third branch induction workshop, you will have improved. But you are also going to improve communication. In England, you have to be disabused of a very closed, self-absorbed way of speaking about politics. Self-aggrandizement. To speak is to exist for the other. To speak is to, to exist absolutely for the other. If there was no other, there would have not to be speech. So you don't speak for yourself. You speak for the other. You try to extend yourself to the other. Yes, Wakala fighters. Now, the, as I said, this is going to be re-edited re, re, re and then we'll take out the 2023 version. It might come in two forms, a much even shorter pamphlet for members to live with something. Uh, and uh, the one that you must have and the entire leadership of the EFF in the branches. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll really push for, for an aggressive one. The year of mass political education, and these are the last two points I'm going to make, has a lot of workshops, seminars, and lectures. So one of the immediate lectures in April is the Lenin Lecture. Try to always plug into, we always broadcast political education activities in the EFF. So it's your duty as a political education officer to always be the first audience. So it must be compulsory for you. 22 April, we're talking about Lenin, we've got a lecture. You go and improve yourself. Hear it, don't hear about this thing once. We're going to do Lenin in May. We're going to do uh, um, Karl Marx on the 5th of May. Fanon, we're going to do seminars. There are seminars in relation to Africa as a country to speak to the unity of the continent, to speak to the question of socialist economic planning. Uh, there, 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 there is a lot of these activities and you must pay attention to them. The political education program will post it as well in the group. Follow it as a political education officer. This is the year of mass political education. And you are the ground force for that. What is political education? Where two or three are gathered, let us teach each other. 
Let us improve our levels of class consciousness. Let us improve our level of political consciousness. Our politics. Our politics. Let's improve our knowledge of the founding manifesto, seven cardinal pillars. Let's improve our knowledge of our history. And so on and so forth and stuff like that. Yes, Wagala fighters. Let's improve. This program will post it to all of you. And then let us try to uh, co co comply with it. I cannot emphasize enough the importance of taking this work seriously uh, and ultimately making sure that um, you do it with love. Do it with love. Do not, do not wait for anybody. Do not be pushed. Vugek Sen, think about... Let me go and improve the knowledge of our fighters. But we must be programmatic in our approach to induct each and every member. After June, we'll roll out another program. We're going to do another round in the second half of the year, post the anniversary, to make sure that our people that we have recruited over the years uh, but also specifically last year, one million of them get a good sense of what the EFF is. Um, now, I want to conclude with the pitfalls of national consciousness. Fanon. Eh? Uh, eh, <laughs> I, 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 I think there's something very powerful. One day, will maybe do a Twitter space, us, and then we just go through the pitfalls of national consciousness. We break it apart. And, uh, you know, some reading group will we'll, we'll see. So that you are, you are, we don't see you in June. From time to time, we interact with you. And there's a constant feedback about, hey, I couldn't explain this properly. How does or I'm not sure about the explanation I gave, or these are the questions that we received, and so on and so forth. There's something here that Fanon says, which I want to leave all of us with before we depart. In the, in the Wretched of the Earth, Pitfalls of National Consciousness. We once more come up against the obsession, that obsession of ours, which we would like to see shared by all African politicians about the need for effort to be well informed, for work which is enlightened, and free from its historic intellectual darkness. To hold a responsible position in an underdeveloped country is to know that in the end, everything depends on the education of the masses, on the rising of the level of thought, and on what we are quick to call political teachings. In fact, we often believe with criminal superficiality that to educate the masses politically is to deliver a long political speech from time to time. We think that it is enough that the leader or one of his lieutenants should speak in a pompous tone about the principal event of the day for them to have fulfilled this bounded duty to educate the masses politically. Now, political education means opening their minds, awakening them, and allowing the birth of their intelligence. 
as Amy Cesar put it, to invent souls. Now pay attention. To educate the masses politically does not mean and cannot mean making political speech. What it means is to carry, is to try relentlessly and passionately to teach the masses that everything depends on them. That if we stagnate, it is their responsibility. And that if we go forward, it is due to them too. That there is no such thing as a demigod. That there is no famous man who will take the responsibility for everything. But that the demigod is the people themselves. And the magic, the hands, are finally only the hands of the people. In order to put all this to practice, in order really to incarnate the people, we repeat that there must be decentralization in the extreme. The movement from the top be decentralized in the extreme. The movement from the top to the bottom and from the bottom to the top should be fixed principle, not through concern for formalism, but because simply to resist this principle is the, to respect this principle is the guarantee of salvation. I will repeat one last line. To educate the masses politically does not mean long speeches. What it means is to try relentlessly and passionately to teach them that everything depends on them. How do we know our political education is successful? When the masses know that they are their own liberators. When they know that they are the gods. When they know that they are the messiah they are waiting for. When they know that they are the breakers of their own chains. We do not make the masses look up to the sky. And expect somebody to descend and save them. We send them to themselves. We say you are capable. You can run your own lives. You can make your communities better. You can liberate yourselves. Why do we educate them? We want them to know your destiny is in your hands. It's not in the hands of the capitalists. It's not in the hands of the bosses. It's not in the hands of the famous, powerful leaders. It is right here with you in the village. That is what we are sending you to do. Teach them that they are their liberators. They are the ones they are looking for. They are the ones that they are praying for. They are the ones that they are wishing for. Nobody is going to come from China to save them. There is no investor that is going to save them. If they want a savior, they must look right next to who is sitting next to them? Right there in the village, the revolution is possible. Right there in the townships, in the neglected, forgotten, distant spaces, where no network arrives, where no Twitter arrives, your message must arrive because that is the message of hope. That is the message of love. What is this message? You are the liberators. Your destiny is in your hand. And the revolution is in your hands. You can liberate yourselves. It's here. When we say we are Fanonians, this is the pedagogy of liberation. The pedagogy of the conduct of our struggle. Our philosophy of education, comrades, we don't elevate 
a demigod. We don't promise our people that the leader is coming. We promise them that the leader has always been amongst you. Open your eyes. Wipe the sleep from your eyes. And realize you are the liberators. It's a very important objective of revolutionary political education. Let the spirit of economic freedom in our lifetime spread like wild fire. Deliver it with this determination. Now I call to my objectives. Try to remember them every day. Write this down and put it on the wall. What is the objective of educating the masses? To tell them, to make them aware that they are their own liberators. Can I say this again? What is the objective of our political education? To make sure that our people wake up to the realization that they are their own liberators and empower them to challenge the establishment in that very corner of the world. Agna mtobuye koli, ozo ye mkandule, ayo liberator bandu base mkandule. Aona mutatotu wa mo ayanjerere. The people of njerere. That's why we got all of you from across the country. That you must have the confidence in our people. Believe in our people. And remember at all times, this we said in the beginning. Our people can understand anything, even quantum mechanics. They can, they can understand biochemistry, anything, on the condition that you want them to understand. On the condition that you want them to drink out of the waters of this well of freedom. Go and conduct political education. Our dream is to make sure that we culminate into an actual institution of a school, proper school in the EFF, where we teach our own knowledge, our own economics, our own history, our own philosophy, governance, where we teach including our own history. Ultimately, we must even do mathematics, we must do science, we must have our own school for the cadres, for cadership development, in, the, in true keeping with the nature of communist parties across the world. We are communists. Yes, we are communists. 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 Sumba start a means of production so that these means of production can service the people and not profit. Yes, Wagala fighters. This is our struggle. I wish you all the best. You must go back home. Those who are traveling, travel well. Take care of one another. Make sure that the last principle in our constitution always lives amongst us. Love one another. Thank you. The Political Education School is adjourned. And then lunch is served in the usual place. After eating, you are free to go. Merci beaucoup.